what you're looking at here are two figures that were placed intentionally in the botanic garden, the local botanic garden where I, I took last week's photo, um, by someone, I don't know who, but there's a part of this garden where people have like put little plastic trinkets like fairies and other things like that. And these little guys are called Kodama and they are taken from a, I think it's a 1997 movie called Princess Mononoke. It's directed by Hayao Miyazaki and it, they are in the movie when these spirits appear these little Kodama fellows, they, that it essentially means the forest is healthy and doing okay. And if you've never seen a Miyazaki movie, I highly recommend them. They're so, they're like visually stunning. Like you could, you could almost take any frame from any one of his movies and, and hang it on your wall. But one of the coolest things about them is the world building where they're, they're like spirited away or Kiki's delivery service, princess Mononoke. They're, they're full of these, these hints at a much larger world. It's never really explained, but you get to fill it in. Like you kind of, you, you get the sense watching this movie, any of his movies that there's, there's just like a, a huge universe there that the main character is sort of wandering in and out of in, in their storyline, but the rest of the universe isn't necessarily explained. Um, you just have to sit back and, and absorb it and enjoy it. And that's kind of like what these things are. It, it's explained a little bit more explicitly in the movie, but anyway, that's what you see here. These two little figures that are uh, generally indicate that, yeah, the forest, or in this case, the Botanic Garden is healthy and doing well. And these little guys are like an inch tall. And I had my D750, my macro lens, and I thought, man, this would be a fun photo opportunity if I can just figure out a way to capture these. And I, I didn't really know what to do to make it an interesting photo. So I tried, I didn't adjust the scene at all. I didn't like turn them or alter anything, but I moved myself around. And I played around with the angle that which uh, from which I, I took the photo. And also where the light was coming from. I tried to pay attention to that. And you see a little guy on the left, he's actually got a smile and you can kind of see the, like the profile of his face and you see his mouth upturned. So I tried some photos that were more focused on that figure. It just didn't look as interesting. I, I always kept on coming back to this one that you see here with the kind of the longer face that's maybe staring in awe at something off camera or, or out of frame that you can't really see. And as I, I kind of rotated myself around, I noticed that I could put myself in a position where I could get that front one in focus and have it be backlit, which is really cool. I, I did that last week too. And on, on last week's photo, I, I had this flower that was backlit and I really liked the effect that happened where it's almost like he was glowing. And what it does is it draws your eyes straight to his face, first of all, and then you start to notice other things. And it, it's something that I've done in a lot of photos too, where I, I put something in it for you to look at and then try to populate the photo with other compositional elements as well. And that's that was my goal here, and I hope it worked. And uh, there was also the issue of how to expose this. I shot it at f9.5, uh, 1 350th of a second, ISO 220, and I wanted a... a aperture that was it's like the constant macro photography struggle how to make your aperture wide enough to get a, a the a shallow depth of field but also small enough that the that what you want to get in focus is actually in focus and that's that's what ended up here f9.5 did that quite well so all in all i think this is a really cool photo um i have i never expected to see these little figures when we went walking around the botanic gardens but i'm glad they were there and i'm glad i have my camera to capture it